for the category Excellence in Infrastructure, sponsored by CAMCO. The nominations are Waterford Wetland and Lakes, Lights View, ACOM Australia Proprietary Limited, CIC Australia Proprietary Limited, Renewal SA. The Waterford Lake and Wetland System has a dual purpose in flood detention as well as water quality. So it, before it discharges down to the downstream system as part of the City of Port Adelaide's stormwater system, it treats the water to an acceptable level but also provides the flooding detention to not overwhelm the downstream system. There's a few components that make up the lakes and wetland system, including uh, bioretention that are on both sides of the lake, as well as upstream next to the tennis courts. We have a wetland, urban wetland, that discharges the water into the lake system. We've got a recycled system between from the lakes up to the top of the wetland again, and before eventually discharging down to the birdwood system. The Waterford Lake and Wetland System is very urban, which is not something that's been really been seen before in Adelaide. So we had to draw inspiration from interstate places, so other projects that ACOM's worked with, such as the whole Docklands area where they've upgraded and had to incorporate water treatment measures in a, a very small space, and so having to urbanise it to give it as well the urban design feel that they're looking for. Lightsview is a premium development, and to provide the required um, minimum benefits that we needed for the stormwater treatment system, we wanted to provide the most urban feature that we could. So therefore there's a bit more benefits to the system than just the quantity and quality of the water. There's quite a few community benefits in that it provides a high level of amenity for the surrounding neighbourhoods as well as the adjacent houses that feature onto the actual wetland. Waterproofing the West, Stage 1, City of Charles Sturt. Waterproofing the West is a complex project. It's an integrated series of a number of projects that starts at collecting water from Bonython Park, the River Torrens, water that would otherwise go out to sea, and then distributing that water to two catchments, the Torrens Road catchment, where we have wetlands harvesting that water at St Clair, and to the Port Road catchment, which has wetlands along Old Port Road, and then offline wetlands out at uh, Cook Reserve and West Lakes Golf Club. So those projects not only harvest stormwater, but they also provide flood mitigation. So the water is then injected into aquifers, and we have pump stations both at uh, St Clair and also West Lakes which then distribute that water, 32 kilometres of pipe work, to council reserves and potentially to schools. The time frame for the project was very tight because Commonwealth funding in particular had limited time that we had to use the funding and hence we had a project that needed to be achieved within about a three year period. And we were successful in achieving practical completion within that time period. Additionally, environmental benefits are achieved which are in line with the state government's Water for Good program. This means there's less reliance on River Murray water and that we are using a far more sustainable use of bore water as we are injecting and then extracting the water that we have captured. There's been a lot of positive community feedback that the amenity has had significant improvement. So we have beautiful green reserves, we have nice wetlands and boardwalks that will be able to be used by the public. Coffin Bay Rain Garden, Design Flow, the Air Peninsula Natural Resource Management Board, District Council of Lower Air Peninsula, Taylor Cullity Lethleen. The Coffin Bay Rain Garden was the first of a series of treatments to be put on Air Peninsula and it captures and treats the stormwater from the town centre protecting the local beach as well as the aquaculture. It was a very collaborative design approach with the council, the NRM board, um, the landscape designers TCL and ourselves uh, and we designed the uh, rain garden to complement a landscape upgrade of the park. The rain garden is really a sunken garden bed uh, and it's constructed using local materials uh, including the limestone from around Coffin Bay. Uh, local plants uh, were used all through the, the rain garden and the overflow channel uh, and we worked with council's uh, own staff to construct the rain garden itself. 
What worked really well on the Coffin Bay project was we only had a meagre budget, so we worked very closely with Council and NRM uh, and developed some interesting um, techniques of finding local materials for the filtration media and also for the retaining wall. It's become a landscape feature within the park setting of the main beach of Coffin Bay, which is a real tourist uh, attraction. Uh, one of the challenges in, in establishing the rain garden in Coffin Bay was uh, kangaroos grazing on the vegetation all the time. Uh, that's something you don't really get in the big cities of South Australia. While this is only a small uh, rain garden in the scheme of things, it was a great project to show how collaboratively you can work together uh, with relatively small budgets and deliver protection of marine environment from stormwater. Waterproofing Playford Stage 2, City of Playford. Waterproofing Playford is a series of stormwater harvesting and distribution projects. So we've spent approximately 22.6 million over the past four and a half years and uh, that involved a series of wetlands and mechanical filtration projects, 18 kilometres of pipework, a series of community bore projects as well as a customer scheduling control system that will enable uh, quite a detailed level of control for our customers. Waterproofing Playford is all about making Playford a sustainable city. So we're looking really to substitute our mains water with our own harvested stormwater. We're aiming to substitute 27 council sites and 12 schools from uh, mains water over to recycled water. As part of the Waterproofing Playford project, Playford targets the T2 aquifer. The T2 is quite a, a good aquifer in this area. We're able to inject approximately 25 litres per second, depending on the area. And uh, we actually only remove 80% of what we put in. So we're actually leaving 20% in the aquifer. Over the years, the Northern Adelaide Plains has uh, been over-extracted in some areas. And so what Playford's doing is actually improving the quality and the health of the aquifer by leaving 20% down there. Some of the main benefits of the Waterproofing Play Playford project are that uh, it reduces our reliance on the River Murray. Uh, other benefits include uh, reducing the uh, amount of stormwater that flows out into our marine environments and with that reduces the amount of pollutants going out into those environments. Uh, another major benefit is that uh, we're able to deliver an improved amenity to our community and ratepayers. So through uh, the use of stormwater we can actually deliver a better quality water, lower in salt and we can actually irrigate those reserves with a greater volume if necessary. Adelaide Oval, Siphon Systems, Siphon Systems Proprietary Limited. The project is the Adelaide Oval redevelopment, which Siphon Systems were engaged to provide a roof drainage system, being a siphonic rainwater system. Siphon Systems design for the Adelaide Oval um, incorporated the siphonic stormwater system being placed at the back of the, uh, the, gut, the box gutters. The large catchment area from the roof, water will fall to these gutters and then from those gutters it will then fall to the back where there's large sumps with the siphonic rainwater outlets positioned in the gutters to take away the volumes of water uh, in a Q100, up to a Q100 storm. Um, at the back of the building over here we have the riverbank stand and we can see at the edge of the building there is the stainless steel downpipe. Um, that was uh, specially designed by Siphon Systems and coordinated with all the steel work to then be secured to the actual structural steel downpipe or the frame of the building. Um, initially we will get engaged with the architect uh, to look at the design of the roof and from that we will then uh, use our smarts to work out what the best solution for the roof would be uh, using our uh, modelling system and the flow analysis that we use for the gutters we can work through uh, quite a lot of different scenarios on different type of roof structures uh, to come up with the best outcome. The project basically took us uh, between 6 to 12 months of actual construction uh, that we were on site um, uh, and then to commission the actual the, the system itself. 